Um, I just wanted some different textures with this album, you know, and, and I feel like um, within The Lonely Hour, it was a lonely record, and, and this album is more thrilling, and there's more to it, and um, there was just songs that I was writing um, that just felt like they needed that sort of strength in it, and um, I just, normally I do all my BVs and I just wanted to have the Gospel Choir and vibe off them and it was an amazing experience and performing on stage with them as well is just the greatest musical experience of my life so far. Oh, I'm always talking about my personal life, you know, no matter what I do when I sing it will always be personal to me. Um, I'm actually more revealing on this record, I think, than in the Lonely Hour, and um, I don't know if I'm ever going to be as personal again in music, because I really had to go to a weird place to get the music out. I was just in a bit of a dark place, you know, I was drinking too much, I was going out too much, I just didn't really like myself when I was making this record, and um, I'm starting to just be happier now, and, and want to challenge myself and, and write about some other stuff, but there's a song on the album called Burning, which is just super personal and revealing and um, it's just painful to sing when I sing it now. I think when you get into the headspace when you're writing songs like Burning it just becomes a bit, um, got a bit self-indulgent I think and just like in my own head too much and um, just thinking about the negatives and the music felt like it was getting better because of that and I didn't like that you know and um, some of the music was really bad, actually, that I was making at that time, but every now and then you get a keeper. But it's just not healthy. I don't feel like you have to make music in that dark, dark place all the time, you know? Songs, some songs that I've done called Pray and Hymn and, um, and One Last Song, and there's loads of songs that I love on this record that weren't made in, those, in that type of place. That song is a coming out song from a, a boy to his dad and it's just a general story, it's not my story, it's um, just a general story and I wanted to make that song for my community, for the LGBT community and, and there's um, some religious uh, references in there and I also reference Mississippi a little bit because what's going on in America right now is scaring the shit out of me and I wanted to write about it. It does, it does. And it, it's always about the music and about me telling my story, but I am that and I am gay and my music is gay and, and what I speak about is gay and I, it, I can't help but it be a thing. And as I, with, with my job, I travel around the world and I get to meet so many amazing people and, I've got to see so many different aspects of the LGBT community. And just like any artist, I feel like if you're a true artist, you're gonna speak about what moves your core. And I just think it's so important to talk about this right now. And I wanna make people feel uncomfortable because you should. And we should be addressing these issues. And we should be talking about, about it. And there's not enough openly gay men, women, in the music industry, in any industry. And we need to be at the front talking, shouting, so that those little kids who live in the middle of nowhere can hear it and hopefully be inspired.